Hey everyone, do you know the difference between an, an appraisal and an inspection? Well, whether you're a buyer or a seller, it's something you really need to know. My name is Lori Hodges and I'm with Homes by Hodges and I'm gonna go over that today. So once you're under contract for a home, the first thing that would be done would be the inspection. Sometimes you get five days to inspect, seven days, 15 days used to be standard, but in this hot seller's market, rarely do you get 15 days anymore. So the buyer will call an inspector they choose that person they pay for that person and the inspector will then coordinate with the whole team at a good time to come into the home and they will look at the home with a fine tooth comb so they will look at the electrical system and the plumbing system and the foundation and the roof and all the appliances the air conditioners and they'll give you a report based on what they find. So is everything working properly? Are there any leaks in any of the systems? Is the roof in good condition? They'll also usually take a moisture meter and run it around windows and doors and behind water systems to make sure there's no moisture in the wall or mildew possibly that the buyer can't see. So that's always something to make sure you look for. Typically, the inspector's team will be there, the buyer will be there, the seller's agent will be there, and the buyer's agent will be there it's kind of like a party, so bring a book, bring a drink, bring some work to do because you're going to be there for a few hours while this inspector goes through the house. And you want them to do a good job, so you don't want this to be done in 45 minutes. Um, typically, the seller is not there because that just makes it really awkward, so hopefully your seller doesn't show up for that. The next thing that's done is the appraisal. So once the inspection period's over and the buyer's moving forward with the home, the bank will then order the appraisal. This is a licensed appraiser in the state of Florida. The cost of that typically is passed on to the buyer. So the buyer doesn't pay the appraiser directly, but the buyer will reimburse the bank either before the appraisal or at the closing table. And it's usually, you know, several hundred dollars, somewhere between 400 and a thousand, depending on the, the bank and the cost of the, the size of the home and whatnot. So then the appraiser is gonna come in and they will Measure the, measure the square footage of the home. They'll compare to the tax records in the county to make sure the home is the correct size and there weren't any additions on the home that weren't permitted or legal. Then they will also look at any upgrades or updates in the home. And once they've done all that, they will compare to recent home sales in that neighborhood and they'll come back with a value and they'll pass that value in a report onto the bank and then onto you also. And this value is very important because the bank will determine how much money they're going to lend the buyer based on the value of this home. So both of these things are really important, but they are very different. So if you have any questions about appraisals, inspections, buying or selling, we'd be happy to answer them here at Homes by Hodges. Again, this is Lori Hodges. We are making realty dreams a reality. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.